So my name is Mike Jorgens. I'm product line manager here at AeroVironment. Puma LE uh, brings Group 2 capability down to that Group 1 footprint, uh, both in launch, recovery, uh, logistics, and, and operation. So we've expanded uh, our endurance up to five and a half hours, which is more than double uh, a typical Group 1 time on station. Uh, the base configuration weighs 22 and a half pounds. Uh, that can go up to 26 pounds depending on payload. So that, that secondary payload bay uh, really provides the perfect uh, integration for third-party payloads. We can carry five and a half pounds. It has a dedicated power supply, which provides 18 to 24 volts up to five amps for full flight duration. In addition, we have a ethernet connection for uh, communications. That allows integration of multiple different third-party payloads, everything from uh, electronic warfare, communications relay, uh, and many others. Because we are hand launchable or bungee launch, small package, easy to take out, it's two case uh, pack out in order to complete two full missions. Those cases are actually the same size as Puma 3 cases. So our Puma LE uh, uses a lot of the same LRUs as Puma AE, specifically the Puma 2 and the Puma 3. With this ability, uh, if a customer currently has uh, Puma 2 or Puma 3 systems, they can take those LRUs, move them back and forth between their Puma <laughs> AE systems and their Puma LE systems. In addition, this allows uh, for simpler uh, logistics because you can keep a lower part count on the shelf and make sure that you have all the stuff that you need to either fly a Puma AE or a Puma LE. So Puma LE uh, ex expands on the range capability that we've had before. Because it has such a long endurance, you can spend a lot of time on station at longer distances. Uh, the standard GCS goes out to 20 kilometers. We do have an LRTA, long range tracking antenna, that will take you out to 60 plus kilometers. And then you can get uh, a lot of uh, endurance at that point. So at 20 kilometers, you have almost five hours of on station time, which is just huge for our customers. That persistent ISR is something they're really looking for.